Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be installing the uh, the Rottweiler Performance Fuel Dongle. 30 bucks for this little piece of plastic. Uh, what this does, and I'll, I'll, Rottweiler can explain a lot better than I can. Here's the part number for the 701. Um, it, is that, you know, it's, it's basically, these are uh, due, due to emissions and noise and other EU requirements. Uh, these run very lean from the factory. And so this guy here is uh, intended to, um, to increase the richness slightly, uh, which allows you to get more power, more, um, you know, when, when you call upon a certain amount of throttle, you expect a certain, certain amount of output. And uh, this is gonna be restricting above, uh, below a certain RPM. And so this is um, gonna basically trick the ECU into thinking that there's a, a difference in the air to fuel ratio. So it's just, it's a, it's a very low tech way to get better performance. Um, obviously when you install this, now you're gonna have a, um, an O2 sensor that leads to nowhere. So for an extra like 20 bucks, they'll sell you this stainless steel bung with a copper washer. They have a titanium one, they also have a bare metal one. I did stainless steel for rust reasons and longevity, um, not busting for the uh, titanium. So um, let's look on the bike actually, see what we're looking at here. So ignore the pajamas today. Um, obviously make sure your bike is cooled down. Don't just grab this if you're uh, just getting off a ride. So on the 701, you follow the uh, header pipe right here. And right here is the O2 sensor. It looks like it's gonna be a 12, maybe a 13 mil of that. And then you follow that line all the way behind here and you'll notice it kind of terminates up here. And let's, uh, let's remove the uh, O2 sensor first and then we'll actually do the next part. Size here, it's gonna be a little awkward to get it in there, but I think we can break this free. There we go. Actually, it wasn't that hard uh, as far as the lock-in. I think the like BMW does theirs a lot stronger. Before I keep twisting this, there's a zip tie right over here that you guys can't really see. I need to cut in order to get this uh, freed up. Ideally, not in a way that cuts the or damages the metal. Okay. So now that's loose, and that's now free playing the O2 sensor. So now we'll finish just unscrewing the O2 sensor from the bottom here. Okay. O2 sensor is out. That's already dirty. Look at that. You gonna see that? <laughs> This bung is using a size eight. I'm gonna start by hand tightening in here. Get in there, there we go. That's gonna be a tight squeeze. Let's see if we can get this in here for the final. Hoorah. The problem with all these instructions like this, for example, is in the way because we have an LR, where if you have a regular 701, you won't have this. We can come at that a little bit sideways. Slightly. Okay, we got it. So I removed uh, this bracket right here that was holding basically here and here. It was one of the LR front tank brackets. Again, you guys are not LRs don't have these kind of <laughs> problems, I don't think. And then I inserted the uh, the size eight down here in this angle, and then I uh, came at it from an angle up top, and basically just got it tight like that. Um, so we're in now. Now let's move on to the actual fuel dongle itself. Okay, I'm kind of doing this uh, weird way, but you see this here. So you had a, a zip tie that was right here. You know, another one that's right here. You can kind of see the compression still in there. If you follow that uh, O2 sensor, you give it a tug, you're going to see it starts to move right there. And then it actually is it terminating right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. And we're going to just pull this back as a little bit of slack in here first. This will break free. There we go. A little bit of slack there. You've got your exposed bit there. Looks like we use a, a squeeze method to get it out, or we use a pick method. Pick method. Now to get this out, you're gonna take a pick behind here and you're gonna raise up on this little tab right here and give her a little bit of a yank. Comes right out. Now that you have this exposed, You'll take your fuel dongle from Rottweiler. You're going to plug it in to where the other one went in. And it is only one directional because you'll have a tab on here. That clicks into place. Now we're going to fish our O2 sensor out the other way. Then we're going to tuck this back in there. We're going to get everything basically zip tied back the way it should. Zip tie here and here and then down there. So yank on that O2 sensor. 
You'll need to massage it through. Okay, O2 sensor is out, apply your zip ties, and you are done. Wasn't that easy? And uh, I'm gonna put this O2 sensor back in one of these little baggies here, so I kinda remember where it came from. But let's uh, let's hope that all works out for the best. Buying, I don't know why Rottweiler makes you buy them separately. Having that little, um, the little bung closure there uh, should be included, because once you've unplugged the O2 sensor, you'll have just a wire dangling around. Uh, so having that ability to close up the O2 sensor that's located down here is just uh, is just smart. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Rock on.